What's up, guys? You want to know something kind of sad? It's kind of sad. Um, I don't know if it's sad. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, what is sad, really? But sad in the trendy, right now, popular definition of sad. The happiest thing right now in my life that I enjoy the most is this YouTube channel. Like, I actually really enjoy it and it brings me so much positive reward. It feels like, it feels like a no strings attached kind of thing that I love. Like, you know, not only do I love it, and it's a relationship that I get to have with the world, it's something that I can make money from too. And so I don't have to feel like, I don't have to feel worried that it'll be a liability. You know what I mean? It's like, not only is it not a liability, it's like an asset. <laughs> it's like purely an asset. And, you know, it's, like, with real estate, it's a little bit of that, too, where it's like, oh, I bought a house, and I get to live in it, and the asset is that I have a home, and I have a place to live, and, but it's not really fully an asset, like, it, it is also a liability, like, owning real estate, because, with real estate, there's so many, there's taxes. You're not really ever an owner. It's like, even if you were to pay off your entire mortgage, like, you're still gonna have to pay taxes. You're still, you're still stuck. You're still having to pay insurance. You're still having to pay this mortgage insurance. You're still having to pay water, sewer, electric. Like, there's still so many things you have to pay. It's not purely an asset. Hold on. But with my YouTube channel, I don't have to pay anything to talk to you guys. Like, this is purely for my own enjoyment and my own benefit. And I love it so much. I love having that. Why shouldn't I cherish it, you know? And like, I don't really have the skills to make such amazing videos and just make them so, and I don't have like the confidence to like come and show my ass <laughs> or like, I don't know, just do something nuts. But I can still make like anything, like I can still make content. There's no one standing and saying, you can't do this. You can't make content. You can't be here. You can't, you're not allowed here. You're not allowed to upload. Get out of here. There's none of that. I, I could just do this for free. And <sighs> my life has been so stressful lately. And I've only told you like some of it. <laughs> I've only told you like a uh, part of it. There's like so much more and I feel like at this point like anything else that piles on is really not going to be more stressful because it's just going to be piling on. <laughs> like it's just like everything piled on and piling on. So I'm just like okay whatever whatever. Um, so I'm going to go now because I just I'm about to <laughs> go to my laser hair removal um appointment i bought this coupon like so long ago for laser hair removal but i wasn't able to go this whole time because uh, i had so many stress related health issues and rashes and breakouts that like they weren't able to do it and so finally today i'm gonna go and see if they can actually do it and i can be a little bit less of a hairy person than i was before so I will see you guys later and this vlog should be a little bit 
happier than last week because a little bit fewer mental breakdowns and a little bit more fun and uh, I'm going shooting this week which is really exciting. Tonight I'm going swimming. I had a dream about it last night. Last night I had a dream that I went swimming and so because I was so excited about having planned to go swimming tonight and it's literally just at my gym. I'm just gonna go swimming at my gym but I'm so excited. All right they're about to do it. <laughs> I am optimistic. Would have shown you more, but not gonna show you my private parts. So, I forgot to go to the gym yesterday, so I was going to go today, but then I also forgot that because I did laser hair removal, I'm not supposed to go and like do like heavy, like I'm not supposed to exercise and work out for like 24 hours, but I might actually be able to swim tonight. I'm so excited. The cool thing about being by myself is that I could like film anything. Like I can play around with my environment and film anything without worrying that I'm gonna like expose another person or make them feel uncomfortable. You know, cause like most people, want privacy and most people don't want like their entire lives broadcast into the public but I'm not most people I want my life broadcast like I want everybody to be watching my life I think it's uh I think there's a word for it like exhibitionist I enjoy other people watching my life and my thoughts and everything and so like it took me a while to accept this but I, I, I understand and accept that I, I'm actually different than most people and that is a good thing because I can um, provide value to society that not a huge percentage of people are providing because a large percentage of people still want their privacy and most people even if they are willing to be like public and whatever they they don't they don't want to be public about like the embarrassing thing like so they just want to show the nice things like oh I went to get my nails done watch me get my nails done which like I'll show you that too but I will also show you me not in a perfect state and the truth is I'm just I just can't only show you nice stuff because I'm so stressed out like crazy and my life is just such a like mess all the time that like it's not realistic for me to only show you nice stuff so I'm actually on my way to my favorite coffee shop to get some work done I'm gonna do some editing and I'm a lot calmer than I was last week and I think you know it really had to do with um, it really had to do with those gummies. I mean, it just worked for me, but like, it doesn't have to work for you. Uh, but for me, it worked. Um, you know, I thought that it slowed down my thinking, and I was able to like put everything in perspective and say, okay, what are the things I need to prioritize? Just let out this whole rant on Twitter about how like I just broke up with my ex, and I felt like I couldn't talk the entire time. And it feels like such a relief and I, I haven't even I wasn't even like so clear about it like I was so vague and like people thought it was like another person they're like oh like I saw your ex in your video it's not that person anyone that you saw with me in a video it's not him if it's who you're thinking about I love him and I trust him and I love everybody you know but like it's not it's not that person um, you know, and I didn't want people like guessing that like, oh, it's this person or that person. But my most, rel my most recent relationship was with a person that I just became really, really close to very fast. And it was felt very manipulative. And he just moved in with me like less than a month after meeting me, you know, like right away he moved in with me and <sighs> it feels like such a relief that he's gone. Like, there was so much there that I didn't even realize. Like, 
I really wanted him out so long ago, but every time that I felt like I wanted out, he would find another way to like rope me in. And um, it was a purely emotional, like a purely psychological relationship. Another thing that happened is like, I was having so many health issues the entire time that I was with him. And I was like getting sick and having, you know, I was having these meltdowns. And I thought like I was losing my mind. And you know, I'm like, I still have anxiety from like the effects, like the post effects, you know what I mean? But I definitely see improvement. I see myself getting better. He got so close to me and I, I am just, ugh. There's so much there that I'm not telling you. And I'm like, I keep going back and forth about like whether I should talk about it. But like, honestly, the more I talk about things without worrying about like, what anyone's gonna say or think or whatever, like the freer I feel. And we need that. We need people to be free and express themselves. The free is not really a free country, but the more people act free, the freer it'll feel. <laughs> it's healthy to be free. I've been watching YouTube videos of like other women who are dealing with like kind of similar issues just because I get curious and I'm like watching videos of girls who are like moving around a lot dealing with a lot of instability and they're like yeah I've been going to therapy and I thought that maybe my issues were money issues but the reality is my issues are that I'm afraid of money issues and like you know it's not healthy to like worry about money and like money will come it's like honestly like you telling yourself that your issues are not because of financial instability is not gonna fix the problem. You know what I mean? It's just gonna put a bandage on it. But deep down, you know that financial instability is your problem. Being a YouTuber is not a financially sound plan. It's not gonna make you feel stable. And that's why so many people, like so many people make like a certain amount from YouTube every month and they're like, oh, I have no reason to feel unstable. I have no reason to feel this way. Yeah, you do, you do have a reason to feel this way. If you haven't taken that money and invested it like into real estate or into like other things, you are not gonna feel stable because your YouTube income can disappear any day and they will, they'll demonetize you and you know like, you could lose your channel, you could lose interest in making content, and then you'll suddenly lose all of that. You know, like so many people go downhill because of that. And it is absolutely a relevant fear to have, money fears, especially if you're a YouTuber and like ugh, seeing how they're like, oh yeah, and I went to my therapist and my therapist said that that is not a rational fear to have. Yes, it is a rational fear. What kind of therapists are they going to? I mean, this is why the, whoever the therapist is, is like, poor and broke probably and teaching them poor broke ideas.